Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. I have been working my butt off today. So I pressure washed our entire deck because we're gonna stain it, make it look nice. And now I'm getting ready to go drag the arena. We're getting Bell's Paddock all prepared and ready. Kyle has been the leveling out, well he did the outdoor arena with the scraper and the paddock and then I'm gonna go in there and drag. So it is crunch time. We are extremely busy with projects around here, getting ready for Bell. I mean, it's just gonna be insane. So I'll bring you along for the ride. Let's go. Currently we are using our tractor and our box scraper to try and level out this paddock. Basically due to winter, it was so muddy and then we have clay and it dried out super quick. You have to go in there and level it. So. That's what we're doing and then I'll come through with the four-wheeler and drag it and that will help as well. We're also leveling out our outdoor arena and we will be adding sand to the outdoor too. So we've been very busy getting the farm ready for summer and then of course Bell's paddock. But you can see Kyle here, he loves to be on the tractor. Obviously it's hard to film this but we are working on leveling out this paddock so that Bell can have her full. I think this is the best place and I'll talk to you more about why later because obviously it's loud with the four-wheeler and the tractor but currently Kyle like I said is using the scraper and then I'm helping to smooth it out with the drag and we're going to do this for a while and then once we get a good rain I'll come in here and drag again and that'll really smooth things out. Um, yeah so I just decided this is going to be the best place for her to full and I just have a lot of reasons for that. Like I said I'll tell you later but yeah we're in the process of doing this currently. I uh, have a lot to do to get ready because I don't know exactly when she's going to fold, but I know we're getting closer and I don't want anything to be last minute, obviously. All right, horse lovers, I've been busting my butt all morning getting Belle's paddock prepared, as you can see, covered in dirt and mud. Yeah, so I've been pressure washing for a long time, pressure washing the outdoor run-in shed, her bail barn, the gates, the troughs, just everything. Picking up all kinds of junk that I find. Oh, I got some of my hair too. And um, dragging it, just everything. And I'm so excited for when I get everything I need um, to have it like all set up. It's gonna be so cute. We got a creep feeder. So we're gonna get that put in for the full. And then I will lay down some straw for her. Hopefully she'll full there, but you know how that goes, I doubt it. And you know, just getting everything prepared. And yeah, my face is covered in dirt and I literally don't care. So you can try to take me seriously when I'm talking. But anyways, I decided to have her full in this paddock because she is a super big mare, number one. And I don't have a proper foaling stall and we don't have a setup where I can take a wall out and make a bigger stall so none of that was going to work um and I thought the other paddock was too small and with the run-in stall again it just wasn't big enough for her and knowing that she was Amish I think she probably just gave birth out in a field or an open space and I think that just is what's going to make sense for her here because that's where she's done it before. And it just makes me worried, like, even though that stall is large, it's not big enough. And if she's not familiar with that, I mean, what if she was to full in there? And I, I don't know, it could just be bad. So we're setting up the cameras out in this paddock. We're gonna lay down like a big bed of straw. So hopefully she'll choose to full there, but you know, usually they full where you least expect it. And that way I can still like monitor her. She's separate from everybody. She'll have her own space. And that way her and the full will have plenty of room where they can just adjust there. And there's not some big rush to like transition them from the stall to outside. And you know what, to be completely honest with you, I'm just more of a natural person. Like horses give birth outside. I mean, that's what they're that's where they're meant to be. They're meant to be outside. So to me, for me personally, I'm not, you know, judging anybody else for what they do. And again, I'm not a breeder and this is my first full. Okay, but just for me and my instinct, just outside just makes more sense. And like, yes, of course, they're susceptible to disease and all of that, but that is just life. And like I said, I'm doing everything I can to prevent that and prepare. But yeah, I'm really excited. I think this will be a great area. So it is so freaking dry here. We need some rain really bad. And that's why it's kind of like ground up a little bit. But once we get some rain, it'll level out even nicer. Um, I've been dragging it and dragging it and scraping it and scraping it. But um, until we get some rain, I can't really break up, excuse me, those clumps. And we have clay in Michigan and in my area. So 
it's kind of a pain in the butt. But yeah. Okay, horse lovers, Belle's paddock is basically set up and I'm so happy. We're literally so dry. We need rain really bad. Like we're gonna be in a drought. But anyways, despite that, I'm gonna go drag her paddock one last time and then I will end up putting her out there once she starts to actually bag up, then she'll be officially transitioned into the foaling paddock. So I set up the cameras, they're installed and we're gonna actually mount them in a couple days here. So literally everything is good to go. All I have to do is fill up her water and put a round bale out there and then she will be good to go. I'm so excited. So let me drag and then I will show you around and tell you exactly why I decided to choose this foaling area and show you everything. And then of course we'll say hi to Miss Belle. All right, before I go and drag Belle's paddock, we have a few thank yous to do horse lovers. Carol, thank you so much for this hot pink visor and it has like rhinestones on it. I'm absolutely obsessed and I can't wait to wear it, thanks. Thank you so much for this sunscreen for the horse's cute little noses, their muzzles. And Carol, thank you so much for this beautiful coat finish spray for Miss Belle of the Ball. And for this brand new hanging bucket. Thank you so much Lisa for this creep feeder for the full. I'll talk more about this later. We're going to install it probably about a week after the foal is born in the paddock and I'll tell you more about it then. Denise, thank you so much for this super cute stuffed animal. You left the most kind note and I really, really appreciate it. This is just so sweet. Thank you, I love it. And for this super cute pouch that I can use while I'm riding. That was so thoughtful. Thank you, Denise. And Lisa, also thank you so much for this scoop that came with the feeder. And I wanna say thank you so much, Lisa, for the spare tire that you got for our horse trailer. Kyle put that on the wish list and he was so excited when we got it, so I really appreciate it. Lisa also got us another big surprise, which I'll reveal in a different video later because I don't wanna ruin the surprise, but I just wanna say thank you so much, horse lovers, for all of your support. If you wanna support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order us something off the Amazon wish list. link in the description. Thank you. Right now we're mainly looking for like fly traps, fly spray, all of that. I have a few fly spray things for Belle and her soon to come full on there as well. Just a bunch of different items. So if you wanna support us, that's the way you can do it. And I just love it so much. I feel so connected with you horse lovers. It's just lovely. So thanks again for everything. All right, let's go drag the arena. Also, sorry, I'm gonna be wearing sunglasses like every video because I have the most sensitive eyes ever. And I literally will like squint and can't see anything when it's bright outside. So <laughs> I, I'm like, oh my gosh, in like every video I have sunglasses on. So, okay, let's go out there and drag. Can I make it through the gate? Yes, I can. up the drag to the four-wheeler and basically what the drag does is it just helps like smooth out any lumps or bumps um it does help quite a bit but like i said right now it's so dry and we just as you can see like smooth out that paddock but again it kind of brings all the rocks and like dirt clumps up so we're gonna do the best we can like i said we really really need rain so i'm just like fingers crossed that we get some rain before the full comes like i'm gonna put her in there and i mean it'll be fine regardless but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Once again, Michigan. So I'm gonna hook up my drag to the four wheeler and then we're gonna rock and roll.
right now. Um, I'm gonna go drag the outdoor arena because we got brand new sand today too. Y'all ready for summer? Woohoo! Anyway, so I'm gonna go just drag in there. I'm not gonna film that just because I want to get it done. And then we'll go hang out with Belle and I'll give her her dinner. And yeah. Okay, so let's officially look at Belle's folding paddock. All right, so this is where she's gonna have the full. And again, hoping for rain so that I can smooth out these dirt clumps, but it's not bad. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting some straw like right here and basically making like a bed that way, hopefully she will deliver the full there. But obviously, you know what I mean? Like they never full where you want them to, or so I hear. But that's what I'm gonna try for. And at least whatever, she'll have a nice bed. I decided that this paddock is just big. She's a big mare, she'll have plenty of space. So she'll have the run-in shed, which I pressure wash, so that's all clean. And then she'll have her bale barn with a round bale in it 24 seven. And I scrubbed all that, so that looks a lot better. It was so dirty before. And then they have this whole area, a tree for shade. She'll get some like visual stimulation and all of that. And you know, the barn is still nearby if they need to come in for any reason. And what I also liked about choosing this area is this just gives them time to completely acclimate. It's not like, okay, they're in the full install. We need to wait a few days and then bring them out. Like they're just gonna be in this area for like a week or two um, if all goes smoothly. And then the great part is, let me show you, just in the beginning, cause we don't really know how she's gonna be acting or anything. You know, here's the entry gate here. And then you see this aisle way. Well, I literally can just open this gate up and that gate basically creating like a chute and then they can go straight out to the pasture. Obviously I would have that gate shut. That's the outdoor arena. But yeah, like they have that whole area and I can even keep them in that front pasture and close off the back one and they'll be separated from the other horses. So I just feel like this makes way more sense. It actually put a lot of my like, you know, anxiety at ease regarding everything. And I just feel so much better about it. And it is what it is. I'm gonna prepare and do the best I can, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, all I can do is my best, right? So I'm gonna clean out the trough. I am gonna get her a new one too. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna use this one. So I'm gonna scrub that out and then I'll fill it when she comes in here. And then I got her salt blocks. I'll set up the Himalayan one. She'll have access to a selenium block as well. So yeah, this is gonna be her foaling area. And right when I see her start to bag up, she will come in here. She will be here until she has the foal. So I'm thinking that'll be somewhat soon. I guess we'll see horse lovers. You'll just have to stay tuned. <laughs> I will have to stay tuned. We are all at Belle's mercy here, okay? Um, speaking of her, let's go visit with her. I'm gonna feed her her breakfast, or breakfast, what time of day is it? Dinner. And uh, yeah. You ready for dinner? Yeah, you're like, why did you put me in here and there's no food yet? Okay, I'm getting it now. Don't you worry. All right, delivering to bed. We're gonna eat inside since it's hot, then you can be in the shade, okay? Yeah. Actually moved her to the bigger stall and paddock for the evening. Yep. So yeah, now you know all the work we did to get her foaling area ready. And once she goes in, you'll know that the foal is coming. I'm so excited. This is gonna be amazing. She is such a pretty girl and I just cannot wait to see what the foal is gonna look like, all of those details. I'm super, super excited. I cannot believe that we're gonna have a baby horse. I'm still so excited about it. I just can't get over it. Can't wait to see their sweet little face and then their full slippers, which is basically a coating on their hoof that protects the mom when they're delivering. So I'm just, I'm so excited. Getting the camera set up, yay. You excited for our baby? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, hand me another screw. Okay.
Gotta love the horse hubbies. On top or on the side. Yeah, that's this, cool. This will get sun for more than three hours. So. Solar panels. This. Fancy. That tripod. You bought these horse lovers. Thank oh, you. Of course, we have two cameras, so we're just getting the first one set up. Then we'll have we'll the second. The first one set up. We'll check it on her. She has a phone app that connects to them, so we'll make sure it's positioned good. And yeah, I did that the other day, and now we're just well installing. Then I got to set everything up with mare watchers. I don't know if you guys saw my one video, but I'm going to hire this company. They essentially watch your cameras for any signs of foaling and they will alert you if there's any signs of like delivery. Isn't that awesome? And it was like relatively inexpensive. I think like 50 a month plus setup. So I'm definitely going to utilize that resource, especially with it being my first foal. You don't trust yourself? I'm going to drop it. <laughs> This is a solar powered camera, so it definitely will get plenty of sun there. Pretty cool. It also worked out great because we don't have Wi-Fi in the barn and it'd be too difficult to like wire it from the house and all of that. So I needed like solar power. I needed 4G LTE, essentially cellular service. And it was really simple. And then I could basically get a lot of storage. So that way I can continue to run the cameras even afterwards. So it's perfect. Koa's helping. He's such a good boy. <laughs> the best puppy. We got camera number one. Now we're getting up camera number two. Okay, horse lovers, we got both the cameras up. We are ready to rock. The second she starts bagging up, she's coming in here and she'll officially be in her foaling paddock until that baby is born. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything with Belle. There could be rapid updates and I don't want you to miss a thing, okay? And I'll see you next time, horse lovers. Bye!